if you're an adult and you're an American, you've probably at some point done a fad diet or uh, whatever the most popular workout is, and you did it for a while, maybe a few days, maybe a few weeks, and then you missed it. You went out to eat with some friends or you just were really tired and didn't get your workout goal in that week because you worked a double shift or your kids were sick or whatever reason, you just didn't, you missed a workout. And then it's really easy for our minds because our bodies are kind of lazy and inertial and they just want to keep doing whatever the easiest thing is and the most immediately gratifying to just go, well, I failed and quit. I'm a failure. Mm. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to do this. And it's easy, but it's, it's poison. It's like, I'm going to take this quick poison that, that tastes good, but then I'm, I'm back to where I was before, or even worse, because now I'm beating myself up because mm -hmm. I couldn't get in shape, or I couldn't change my diet, or I couldn't break that habit or that addiction. Mm -hmm. So if you screw up, then congratulations, you're human, and it's okay. And you can just go, well, I screwed up again. I've done it before. I'll probably do it again. Mm -hmm. And this is important to me, so I'm just going to recommit. And maybe I'm going to get support. I'm going to say, tell a friend, you know, I'm really going for quitting smoking. I'm really going for walking my dogs every other day. Or I'm really going for standing up more. I'm going to get my, my little pacer. I'm going to walk a thousand extra steps a day. Mm -hmm. Whatever your goal is, you can tell somebody just so you have this external accountability instead of keeping it in your head where I screwed up. I got to do better. I have to do better. And I can just go, you know what? I screwed up again. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm just going to go for it again. You know, I, I didn't. I didn't do my workout yesterday, so I'm going to do it again today. Or today I'm working, so I'm going to do it tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And then holding yourself accountable and having them hold you accountable so you can actually make those changes that you want to make and make them stick. Mm -hmm. Habits don't start easily, but they also don't break easily. So if you can get into that habit of working out or eating better, whatever it is, give yourself six weeks or six months, however long it takes to get it to stick, mm -hmm. then that will be your habit. But if you keep on giving up, after a couple days or a couple weeks, as soon as it gets hard or as soon as you make a mistake, then it's very, very difficult to make those new habits or break the old habits. So if you want health to be a habit, then give yourself enough time and forgive yourself when you screw up so you can actually get it to be a habit. And then you can be a healthy person. Mm -hmm. That's just your lifestyle. I really like what you said about forgiving yourself and then asking for support from somebody else to be accountable to and help you recommit. What Mark said earlier about nutrition and fitness fads, it's okay to switch and go to something else because there's no one thing that works for any of us for the rest of our life. In my previous days as a competitive athlete, I was so driven to work out. But what I found out was that my body was breaking down. And I found out that I was overtraining like crazy and Luckily, I was young and elastic and I could bounce back. But now that I think about having a goal of lifting weights or exercising up until 110, 120 years old, I want to take more care of my body. Generally, when you work out enough to cause a change, you have some kind of feeling in the muscles that you're working out, or it may be a burning in your lungs or a burning in the muscle groups like your legs, say you're out hiking, and you get to that point where you have that burning in your lungs or in your legs or both at the same time, that's a great time to stop or slow down or back off so that the connective tissues catch up with the muscle growth. The muscle growth gets to keep up with the fascia and that nothing tears or joints don't get pounded because they're overtrained and they don't have time to rehabilitate heal in between workouts. If you haven't been doing a certain activity for quite a while, like picking up a heavy weight, it's a good idea to ease into that a little bit at a time because your nervous system knows what it needs for electrical input to make the muscles fire like that but if your muscles tendons and ligaments are not in that shape that they were that signal might tear some things apart baby steps is a great way to think about getting into working out working out just enough to cause a change working out just enough the first time to maybe get a little bit winded or, or break a little bit of a sweat. Getting your heart rate up to 110, 120 beats per minute will increase your metabolism without burning up blood sugar. Working out in the weight room just enough with each exercise to cause a change for that muscle group and saying, okay, I'm going to give it 48 hours or more might be necessary. 
before I come back and do this again. A little bit at a time, working out just enough to cause a change, and giving it plenty of time to recover in between workouts.